Good morning, folks. We're expecting a couple days of slightly inclement space weather. We've got top articles for the day and the first event at Observer Ranch coming on Monday. Let's start with our star. And we find the last 24 hours contained no major flares, but did have another small CME from the northern active region beginning to depart. There was also a filament that erupted on the north, while thus far, the incoming sunspots on the south have remained relatively quiet. We expect very minor CMEs to affect the solar wind in the wake of the coronal hole stream from the southern opening. Minor geomagnetic storms are possible tonight and tomorrow as that stream begins to reach geospace, a minor aurora watch at high latitude. We did have a big earthquake yesterday, 6.9 in Indonesia. Luckily it was offshore and too small to create a tsunami, but quite noteworthy anyway. The snowfall the last several days has been breaking records, lake effect and a powerful atmospheric system have brought several regions to a standstill in the eastern half of the United States. Nice start to the holiday season there, as those conditions are expected to continue that way through this busiest travel week of the year. Moving on to some eye candy, we've got Hubble scoping a star embedded inside a dusty core, and it is likely that that bright angle of light is only half the polar outflow with the other pole pointing away from us towards the deeper regions of space. In a shout out to Anthony Peratt, they are discovering that textbooks need to change. This is their study of the high energy density plasma, and as Alfane and Peratt claimed years ago, the way they do plasma science is giving them the wrong answers. Time for that to change. Our top stories today begin with a good detailed study on salinity profile of the ocean and its creation of sea ice. Most of you observers know by now that melting polar ice triggers Heinrich events and cooling by spreading cool water into the oceans, making it easier to freeze, which also increases albedo. Here, they dive into the salinity aspect of that, even beyond the freshwater freezing aspect to how it creates a stratification that makes it an even more potent factor. And yes, that is where we're headed with the modern day sea ice melt. Up next, Folks, the forward-looking models are now able to loosely predict the 2023 Earth rotation rates, and after three straight years of record-breaking speed, which has resulted in the three fastest years on record, the first ever to average less than 24 hours of rotation, including the fastest days ever recorded, we are expected to break both the daily and annual record again next year, all part of the shift. Lastly, folks, the official groundbreaking ceremony for Observer Ranch is Monday afternoon. Get your tickets for the 4 p.m. meetup, the first one at the actual ranch. And we look forward to it being the first of many and seeing you all out there next year and beyond. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about how to support the community at ObserverRanch.com. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.